four of us of our family, we were all inside at the time. Uh, we heard a very loud um, couple of bangs, um, which we now know is uh, the canopy, I guess, ejecting from the plane uh, and the pilots ejecting, uh, followed by like a rumble when there was the actual impact. Um, none of us really witnessed it firsthand, but quickly ran outside and um, uh, very quickly, a, a lot of residents heading down into that area, people already getting on their phones. It sounds like there was a community response there. People did come to help. Yeah, uh, people on their phones, people clearing the street, make sure there's room for uh, uh, ambulance to come by in the fire department. Um, and, and, and also, I, I believe many people kind of stepped in to provide whatever uh, medical support they could. Uh, now, this neighborhood, this is not the first time you guys have been hit recently. You, you recently lost a school. Uh, yeah, last uh, September, it was uh, within the first week of school, and unfortunately, an elementary school burned down that my sons go to. So it's it's been a yeah, pretty hectic uh, time out here in, uh, in the Brocklehurst area. And do you feel confident then that the community will be will be here to step up and support the uh, the folks who had their house hit? Yeah, it's it's a very supportive community, and and already just from what we saw today, people stepping in and helping where they could, and uh, you know, no reason to think that people won't band together and help out wherever they can. All right, thanks very much, Mitch. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And so that's it, a little bit of a, a glimpse into what it's like over here in the Brocklehurst neighborhood and, and how things certainly have changed. And we're going to continue to keep an eye on how this develops and uh, bring you more as we, we learn more here in Kamloops. All right, thanks for that, David.